Independence Day, everyone. Mr. Blake here for Discipleship 24-7. And before we celebrate Independence Day, let's think about this scripture. And this scripture comes from uh, this scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. And it says, and it says, uh, respect everyone. And love the family of believers, fear God, and respect the king. And if we think about Independence Day, 4th of July, let's think about the freedom we have to gather together. The freedom we have to go to church on Sunday. The freedom we have to read the Bible. The freedom we have to own a copy of the Bible. As many countries aren't able to do that. The freedom we have to pray, the freedom we have to go to go to church and hear the message, the freedom. And before we celebrate Independence Day, 4th July, let us take a moment to give praise and thanks to God. We're reminded in Scripture in the New Testament that even God takes care of the birds and the sparrows and he tells us not to worry about tomorrow don't worry about tomorrow don't worry about next week and if he can take care of the birds and the sparrows he's going to take care of us and let us draw closer to one another let us encourage one another let's pray for one another and let us stop and give thanks on this Independence Day. Let us give thanks to God the Father for the free, for freedom, for everything that he's provided for us in our life, in our walk with him. Let's give thanks. Let's give thanks to those answered prayers. Let's give thanks to opening doors. Let's give thanks to God for being there in our life. You know, the book of Isaiah chapter 40 tells us that the flowers may wither, the grass will fade away, but the word of God stands forever. And the passage today is, is, from, uh, is from 1 Peter 2, 17, respect everyone and love the family of believers, fear God and respect the king. So let's let's apply that today let's apply that this week and let's take a moment i know we have a lot going on for celebrating independence day right we have a lot going on things to do places to go people to see but let's give thanks to god the father amen discipleship 24 7 mr blake have an awesome fourth of july and may we give thanks and think about those things of freedom church bible gathering family friends let's think about those things and give thanks to god the father